Christmas season has started at Disneyland Paris, and here's a quick rundown of what's in store this year. Hi, Hannah here from AH Disney. The most wonderful time of the year is here again, and if you love all things Christmas, Disneyland Paris definitely does it in style. Let's start in the Disneyland Park, and we'll go on to the construction site that is Walt Disney Studio Park. Disney knows how to decorate for a season, and while the Halloween decorations are good, Christmas is spectacular. When you enter the Disneyland Park, the huge Christmas tree just behind the gazebo is amazing, and no picture or video will ever do it justice. The little gardens are filled with snowmen and Disney character statues. And my favourite part of all the decorations are the garlands that hang across Main Street. And when the evening becomes dark, you can see the lights twinkling and snow falling while Christmas songs play. And it is truly the best way to get into the festive spirit. One major perk of Disneyland Paris, unlike Walt Disney World, is you do not need to pay for a special event to be able to see the Christmas parades and shows. Mickey's Dazzling Christmas Parade is on twice daily with colourful floats and characters all dressed for the Christmas season and you even get to see Santa himself. This year is the first time you can pay for premium parade viewing area located in Central Plaza in front of the castle and it costs 21 euros each. I personally wouldn't pay for this and while having a view of the parade near the castle would be great, I like to see it near the Christmas tree. As you can see, a little show where we help Santa and the Disney characters light the Christmas tree. This is really magical and little kids absolutely love it. Over in Discoveryland Theatre, Let's Sing Christmas shows multiple times a day. This show has choirs from all different countries come and sing Christmas carols with some of your favourite characters and is a really great fun show and certainly gets you in the festive spirit. You'll find all the show times in the app, so make sure you check the day you arrive. And if you want to make sure you get a seat near the front, arrive in plenty of time as these shows are extremely popular. New this year is festive additions to Disney's Electrical Sky Parade. The drone show is on just before the fireworks, illuminations, and is an incredible show on its own. And we can't wait to see all the new festive additions on our next festive trip. Now, onto the characters, and they're also in the Christmas spirit and dressed up for the occasion. Santa Claus himself is also visiting the park to visit guests, and he is very, very popular, meeting guests multiple times a day over in Discoveryland. My personal favourite unique character of the season is Sandy Claus himself, Jack Skellington. You can find Jack over in the gazebo by Phantom Manor. And this is a great one for people who like to take rare characters off their Disney bucket lists. And once again, it's really hard to do on a normal day ticket in other Disney parks. The food at the parks also has a Christmas makeover, with some quick service locations offering some special festive menus. These include Cafe Hyperion with a beef burger and Au Chateau de Marionette with a pulled pork version. In Victoria's, you'll find a selection of festive treats. A Christmas beer is on offer for the season and two sweet treats. A pumpkin king pastry and the cake de share is decorated like Santa's coat and has a chestnut cream which sounds delicious. There's also a cold brew which seems like an odd choice for the colder months but with a cinnamon flavoured syrup it would be a must try for me. Over in the Walt Disney Studios Park there isn't really all that much going on for the Christmas season, most likely due to all of the construction. One thing you will find though, is over in the Ratatouille area, there's a winter food festival. We always enjoy these food festivals and the whole area looks like a proper Christmas market with gorgeous lighting and the little booths make you feel like you're walking into a Christmas film. It can get extremely busy here, but I would highly recommend a visit at night to get the full beauty of the area and the hot chocolate is one of the best I've ever had. Outside of the parks now, and onto Disney Village, there is a Disney Village Happy Holiday Celebration, where it's been advertised to watch out for magical creatures or playful elves who will be joining the fun on certain evenings. We're really curious to see what this is, as currently Disney Village is looking a lot like the Studios Park, mainly consisting of construction walls. So it'll be nice to have a Christmas touch to what is mainly a building site. 
So that was our quick overview of the Christmas season at Disneyland Paris. If you like this video, please subscribe, like and hit that notification bell. Until next time, thank you for being our guest and just keep swimming.